I heard uh, that uh, Carol Wimber, uh, John's wife, had said that one day that you know John was driving down the road and he was driving back from Anaheim Hills and he just said um, he pulled over to the side of the road and called her and he said you know and he, just with tears in his eyes said if you know if I could ever plant again I would plant with the poor and uh, he said I, I don't think I would plant in a place you know like Anaheim Hills uh, but rather you know, really with the poor. He said there would be a higher level of seeing the kingdom, you know, uh, come and the kingdom activity. And we were really, um, that had really caught our hearts because that is, it, it definitely was the influence from my family's ministry. I mean, we were always working with the down and out. We were always working with people that were really broken in life and things like that. And even though, you know, all my life I grew up saying I would never pastor a church like that, you know, um, as we began to get into it, I began to realize that this is going to be where we would see the most kingdom activity. And a lot of people have asked me, like, do you, do you believe that that's because there's a higher level of faith? Like, you know, if more signs and wonders happen in Africa and in India and in South America, it's because they have higher level of faith. And I don't believe that's true. What I believe they have is a higher level of desperation. Desperation gets the attention of kingdom activity. God just is it responds to the desperate. And so I think that at, at in those in those times with the poor, there's just a higher level of desperation. And so it's not an option. It's not one of many options, healing or or deliverance. It's the only option. And sort of when you're in that place, you know. And so there's not a protection. You're not worried about protecting your dignity or anything like that. And I say all the time that, you know, when, you're, you know, when your level of desperation exceeds your fear of embarrassment, breakthrough comes. When you have that place where you're so desperate that it surpasses your fear of being embarrassed, breakthrough happens. I think, it, I, I think there's a... Um, a, a place of, you know, feeling the need to be in control, feeling the need to, to and, and of course it's a pursuit of safety, there's a fear of failure, there's a fear of looking foolish, and in all those fears, it, 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 it overwhelms the, the true desperation that's there, and therefore it sort of blocks it in many ways. And I think desperation is key, because with all the crises that happen in the world, if you put crisis and desperation together, it's the ingredients for the miraculous. Because wherever that place where people are hitting crisis in relationships, where they're hitting crisis in, in physical health, when they're hitting crisis in any, and they move, and it moves them to the place of desperation, man, you've got the ingredients of seeing the miraculous happen and seeing signs and wonders take place.